Hey everybody. So I'm going to make a few modifications to the van, kind of minor stuff, but uh, something I've been wanting to do for quite some time. And this last camping trip makes it uh, more desirable to get this done. So what I'm going to do is put in a uh, external extension cord plug-in for 110. I didn't really think I'd be using that that much, but this is the second time we've been at a uh, campsite without uh, option for a non-electrical site. So I ended up getting an electrical site and I want to be able to plug in and I had that rigged up system with the extension cord out the window for the refrigerator. But uh, here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take these items here. I've got an old extension cord with just one end, just has the male end which is exactly what I need. I've got a couple of uh, 110 sockets and an uh, electrical box and then a drill, basically. And I'm going to put in uh, enough of this cord to run this to one of these boxes inside the van, right kind of where the refrigerator cord is. That way, uh, what I'll do is just leave about a foot of this hanging out the bottom of the van so I can tie it up easily and it will, it, will, it will not be seen. And then I can just drop it down, plug in an extension cord to whatever I need to plug into. I also have a, a generator that we rarely take with us, but if I was ever in the vicinity of a generator or had one or took it with me, then I would be able to plug in and power my refrigerator off of that. But that's not the purpose and that's probably what I uh, I'll probably never end up doing that. Anyway, so I need to drill a hole through the bottom of the van that uh, will fit this cord. And what I have is a 3 8 inch, inch bit and it'll fit fairly tight. But then what I'm going to do is silicone both sides, the inside and the outside where this passes through the floor so that I don't get uh, a lot of movement on that wire and it ends up cutting through here so that's what I've done I picked out my drill bit so now I'm going to go get that hole drilled in the bottom of the van and we'll show you that so the spot I've picked to drill the hole is this is in the back of the van I've got these little cubbies on the side and right about right in here somewhere below there is a there's a plug right here for an accessory or some option that you can get on the van. It's not being used. That way I'm not really drilling through the, through the body. I'm just drilling through this plug. And if later down the road I felt like I wanted to block that off again, I could pop that plug out that has going to have the hole in it and put in a new plug. So that's going to be just about right where I want it to be. There's nothing uh, in there that's we're gonna bother so I'll try to do this uh, maybe I'll set this camera up and then we'll go with that So I pulled it through. I'm going to have a lot of extra here, but that'll be about right. Hangs down just below the fender. And then what I want to do is just put something up here to where I can, I can hang it up when I'm not using it. Just a little hook or something pulls down. So that's about right. Okay. Somebody put this camera in my way.
All right, so I made a mark on it. Pulled out as much as I can here. What I'm gonna do is tie a knot right there at that mark. And that's gonna keep it from uh, pulling through. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, run it down the side. I'm gonna put a splice in the cord right on the other side of this wall. I'm gonna put a hole right there, run a piece across to the other side behind that battery box, and then up to the front so I could put another outlet right up there by the, by the side door. And then this piece will continue on up to the outlet that I'm going to install for the refrigerator. I put pigtails on all three so that I wired both the incoming and outgoing and this will go back and feed my other outlet. Power comes in through this outlet and then back through to the negative or to the common. And then I got my ground hooked up. So then I need to tuck all this into that box, screw this into the box and put a faceplate on it and this side will be good. All right, this side's complete. There's my outlet. Wires coming to and going from. So now I can either plug in my TV, which is also 110 or, or uh, 12 volt. And then here's the wire or the cord from my Dometic refrigerator. Just go right here and plug, it, plug right in. And then that way, when I'm connected uh, to an extension cord or electrical box from outside, then I got 110 in the van. Now all I have to do is go over here on this side. If I have a box, we'll mount it, and I'll put my outlet on this one right here. And that'll be good to go. Okay, so this side, which is end of the line, is gonna get one black on top, one white on top and then the ground right down here. All right, so I'm plugged into a uh, outlet or to a extension cords. There we go. Kind of an old hokey pokey light, but that one works. That one works. Bottom. Good. Top. Good. All right, 110 in the van. So there's my wire coming back from the outlet up there, across the back, through a hole, and then back up this side to the outlet over here. So I've got no splices in the wire anywhere, and I'm just running, as you saw me do earlier, that pigtail hanging out the bottom. Now the van isn't parked close enough for the house for me to have a lot of extension, but I just plug my pigtail into my extension cord. So I'll rig up a little hook or something for me to hang this pigtail on when I'm not using it and then silicone around that hole. Let that dry for a few hours. And this job's complete. Thanks for watching.